welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do an extreme grocery haul for you. We went through our house and we're kind of going to try and go back into a healthy regime. So we've cleared out all of the junk food, well, most of it. We kept a couple things around. We've cleared out the junk food. You're really going to try to start to incorporate more healthy habits. We're not like overturning everything because that never works, but healthier habits, healthier choices, but still indulging in the food that really we love as a family. In today's video, I'm gonna go through all of the groceries that we have, and then I'm also gonna go through our meal plan with you that takes us through the next two weeks. So this is a massive grocery haul. It took me a couple hours to actually get it done, but I'm excited to show you what we bought and hopefully give you a few ideas. I always find January, everybody like starts having really good intentions, so, as a family of three, and I have a toddler, she, well, she's not a toddler anymore. I have a three-year-old, she turns four in April. So I have quite a few kid-friendly meals here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angela, and I like to do videos on all things about motherhood, family, lifestyle, and homemaking. So click that like and subscribe button down below, and also hit that bell for notifications. So whenever I do these grocery hauls, I always like to group everything according to category. Not necessarily meal plans, but let me know down in the comments below if you'd like me to do that, like show you all the ingredients I'm having for a chili, all the ingredients that I use for my barbecue chicken pizza, something like that. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with meat. We needed to restock, so I got a big bag of boneless, skinless chicken breasts because we use those quite a lot. And then we also use either ground turkey or ground chicken, so I got this big pack, look at this, this big pack of uncooked lean ground chicken. And then Ava likes black forest ham for her sandwiches. Merrick got some flank steak because he's gonna be doing some stir fries. And then just some chicken fillets because I'm gonna be making homemade chicken fingers for Ava. And then a rotisserie chicken. I can't ever resist these, but actually I have quite a few meals that I'm gonna make out of this. And then I thought this was interesting, frozen zucchini veggie noodles. So for my pasta, because I'm trying to be healthier and introduce more veggies, I thought these would be great. A bag of frozen peas and carrots. Ava loves peas and carrots and frozen corn. Another one of her favorites. And then Merrick always likes this blend, the three pepper and onion blend. Then in the frozen section, I got some frozen peaches because I'm gonna be making some overnight oats. And then a four berry blend because we use this for smoothies. I also got some frozen hash browns because I thought this might be good for some different breakfast for Ava. And then some frozen Mickey waffles because we can't go a week without those. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, none of this is for you, buddy. Ava loves these Del Monte peach cups. I always rinse off the syrup, but she loves these. And I also got some diced pears for her. Then we needed a new mustard and some salsa because I'm gonna be making some chicken tacos in the slow cooker. I got some Olive Garden light Italian dressing to marinate the chicken breast. And then some half the fat mayonnaise. I really like mayonnaise on my sandwiches. And then Ava loves soup and toast for lunches. This is her favorite, the creamy Campbell's tomato soup. I got a box of this in the fall and it's taken her this long to go through it now, but she actually said that she wants it again, so I thought that I'd try. And then at nighttime, I always like snacks, so I got this Smart Pop Orville Redenbacher popcorn. And then there's our hard and soft taco kit. Ava loves tacos. I'm definitely the crunchy taco, and Mirk and Ava are the soft. Mirk and I got this before Christmas, and I made some homemade broccoli cheddar soup, and we had this. Run to the store now and buy this. You I am telling you, this is delicious. It is so good. This garlic pull apart, so you, pull, so you put it in the oven and there's like a tray of buns, but on top is this garlic butter and it is to die for. We could not get enough of this, so for a treat one night, I thought I'd get it again. I got these little cheese mini pizzas. Then for a treat for myself, I found these spice snaps. They're kind of like ginger snaps or cinnamon cookies. I thought these would be good to try. Then instead of going out for iced coffee all the time, I found this at Superstore. And this is the President's Choice Hazelnut Cold Brew Coffee. I thought this would be delicious at home. I can add my own milk, my own dairy, but I thought that this would be really good to try. Ava always has milk in the morning, so I got her 2% milk. Then to make smoothies, I always use the Silk Coconut Unsweetened Milk. Ava loves these Yogo Nano drinks, and the raspberry one is her favorite. 
I got some cottage cheese for a snack. And then I also got some peach and mango yogurt because this is great for overnight oats. We needed some more herb and garlic Philadelphia cream cheese and some more butter and some cheese slices for grilled cheese sandwiches or just sandwiches. And then we needed some pizza cheese. And Ava also sometimes once in a while for snacks likes these string cheeses. Needed some new tortilla wraps, so I got these. And then I really like pita bread for my sandwiches, so I got this 100% whole wheat pita bread. I'm really on a nut kick lately, and sometimes like nuts in an apple or nuts in a banana is really tasty. Obviously you can't go overboard, but I got this 50% cashew mixed nuts. Then the veggies, why groceries cost so much. I got this bag of romaine salad. It's a blend of romaine lettuce, red cabbage and carrots. And then this is my favorite salad. It's the Taylor Farms Dill Pickle Chop Salad Kit. It is so good. They also have like a ginger soy one, I believe. And then they also have a Southwest and an everything bagel one as well. But this dill pickle one is my favorite. And then from Taylor Farms as well, I thought this was interesting. They had a bunch of these stir fry kits. This is a teriyaki stir fry. So it comes with all these fresh vegetables. Doesn't that look good? It comes with all these fresh vegetables and then teriyaki sauce. So all you can do is add your chicken or make your rice, but I thought that this would be delicious. Now solve this debate. Is it red or purple onions? I say it's red. Purple. And then we also needed some garlic. At Christmas time, I roasted up some Brussels sprouts for myself and they were so good and so easy. So I was craving Brussels sprouts again, so I only got a few. And then we needed some more green onion. I use these on salads or pizzas. Oh, yeah. I, want, oh. I really like veggies and dip as a snack. Merrick does too, so I'm trying to get Ava to like them. So I got some cucumbers. I got a cucumber here and then some carrots and celery. And then I got some fresh peppers because I like using these for our tacos, cherry tomatoes, and some sliced mushrooms. Then this two pound bag of carrots. I'm not a fan of baby carrots. I like real carrots. I know baby carrots are real too, but I'm just, you know, this is a little bit more work, but I don't mind. So I'm gonna chop these up, celery. And then we know Ava, she loves her berries. So strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. All right, so that is my grocery haul. I did really well, but groceries are getting a little bit expensive, I've noticed. So I didn't get everything on my list. I was trying to tick off some new categories for us. I'm trying to introduce a lot more vegetables and fresh fruits, even frozen veggies. Frozen veggies are sometimes even better because they're picked and then they flash freeze them right at their peak. So like the peas and the carrots, sometimes those are better than buying fresh peas or canned peas. So I am really happy with this haul. I'll put everything away and then I'll talk you guys through my meal plan. kitchen table now and I have my computer all pulled out for you guys so you can see my exact meal planner that I'm going to be using for this upcoming week from January 11th to 17th so I've planned out all breakfast lunches dinners I also have my snacks planned out and lunches for Ava usually for breakfast Ava and I will eat the same lunches it depends sometimes she just likes her little comfort food items like soup and toast or her Mickey sandwiches, which is really like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Whereas I'm really trying to go healthier and have more veggie. So I have a couple items here that are really easy to pack in more veg. Then for dinners, I have family favorites, but with a little bit of a twist to make them a little bit healthier. So I will show you my exact meal plan. So I've used this exact same meal planner pretty much since I started YouTube. I developed this and it works. It keeps me organized. It's my old faithful and I use it over and over and over again. So I will put a screenshot of this on the screen here so you guys can grab that and use it for your own. 
But what I love about it is not only it breaks it down to breakfast, lunch, and dinners, but then on the side, it has a space for your grocery, so that way during the week you can also plug in your grocery list and then you can just take that with you grocery shopping. So for breakfast, I'm gonna rotate between these really good peaches and cream overnight oats that I make. For these peaches and cream overnight oats, it's so delicious and I'll actually link the recipe here. I used it for a past video that I did about three breakfasts that my toddler eats. It is such an easy recipe and it is a go-to for us and our family. And then I'm gonna alternate that with eggs and toast with fruit, or I'll also use like eggs and those hash browns that I just bought. So those are the two breakfasts that I really flip flop throughout the week, except you'll notice Sundays are our pancakes with blueberries or waffles. Ava loves her Mickey waffles or we'll make pancakes. Sunday I usually try and have a really special breakfast. So let me go through every day. So Monday, as you can see, is peaches and cream with overnight oats for breakfast. Then lunch is chicken pita with veggies for me. So I like to throw in a lot of lettuce and salad and cucumbers and tomatoes in there. And then Ava's gonna have her famous Mickey sandwich and veggies. Then for dinner, we're gonna have homemade sweet and sour meatballs with rice. And I'm also gonna make those meatballs from scratch. Then for snacks, I also have on rotation cheese and crackers, veggies and dip, and peanut butter and apple. And those are all snacks that both Ava and I love to eat. Tuesday, we're gonna start off the day with some eggs, toast, and fruit. And then for lunch, we're gonna have quesadilla and fruit and salad. Now, I love cooking my little one quesadillas because I can always slip in extra veggies in there. Like corn is a great favorite of Ava's. She's not a huge fan of peppers, but if I cut them up small enough, she doesn't really notice. Ava also likes pineapple sometimes in her quesadillas. So really, anything goes with a quesadilla. That's why I love them, and they are so good for those picky eaters. Then for dinner that night, we're gonna have a homemade chicken teriyaki stir fry using up that stir fry kit. Then Wednesdays, we're back to peaches and cream overnight oats for breakfast. Lunch is gonna be chicken and pita and veggies for myself. And then Ava, this is an old standby for her soup and toast. She loves tomato soup and toast. For dinner, I'm gonna be making homemade turkey chili. This is a, such an easy recipe and I know my family will gobble it up. This turkey chili recipe of mine, I love it because I can load it up with veggies. It's not too spicy. So Mirak, who's a real spice fan, he always adds an extra hot sauce after, but I always add peppers into my turkey chili and Ava doesn't recognize the peppers in that. And then with the turkey, it makes it extra lean. And then you can always have toppings on top. So I put some shredded cheese on top of Ava's so that it kind of milds everything out. But for myself and Mirak, we like it a little bit spicier. You can also sprinkle some green onion on it. It's always delicious. And sometimes I also serve my chili with like a serving of rice, like a chili con carne. It's always great and a family favorite, especially on colder nights. Breakfast, we're gonna have here eggs with hash browns today and then go back to that quesadilla and I'm gonna make a fruit salad with that. Then for dinner, I'm gonna make some crock pot chicken tacos. I love this recipe because it literally is dump and go. Friday, we're gonna be back to peaches and cream overnight oats. And then I'm gonna have chicken pita and veggies and Ava's gonna have crackers, cheese, apple, and peanut butter. That's her favorite. And then for dinner, I'm gonna use up the rest of the rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna make homemade barbecue chicken pizza. Barbecue chicken pizza is an amazing way to use up a rotisserie chicken. Either make your own pizza dough, and you guys have seen those videos of mine in the past, I can link up to my pizza dough recipe there, or just buy a pizza shell, or even use a pita shell, or you can also use a tortilla. So tortilla, pizza sauce, cheese, I always have peppers and red onions, and then your chicken with a sprinkle of barbecue sauce, it is so good. For Saturday, we're gonna have egg and toast, and then I'm gonna have soup and salad, and Ava's gonna have yogurt, fruit, and cereal. For dinner, I'm gonna get, make some homemade chicken fingers and sweet potato fries. So I know that Ava will love that, and the best thing about this is that I can sneak some veggies in the coating for these chicken fingers. And then Sunday, like I already told you guys, we like to have a nice breakfast, so I'm gonna make pancakes with blueberries. And then lunch, it's just gonna be kind of like a pick and mix. So veggies, fruit, cheese, crackers, and pickles. Really, this is a chance for me to clean out anything from the fridge or any like little bits and pieces. And then for dinner that night, I'm gonna make homemade spaghetti with turkey meatballs. Everybody knows that I love spaghetti meatballs. I love my own recipe. I have it down to a fine science. 
but this time I'm actually gonna do spaghetti and turkey meatballs. So I'm gonna make my own turkey meatballs. I'm gonna sneak in a couple more veggies in there, especially in the sauce, just to make it a little bit lighter and healthier. Ava and Merrick will have regular spaghetti noodles, but I'm actually gonna try those zucchini zoodles and see how those turn out. So as you can see, all of these meals are really family friendly, but in the spaghetti sauce, I can throw more veggies. In that chili, I definitely can throw more veggies. Quesadillas, you can hide anything with a layer of cheese, <laughs> especially for your little ones. Soup, you can always throw in extra veggies. Smoothies, extra veggies. So I think the name of the game is just, not necessarily we're going on a diet. It's just, I just wanna eat better. All right guys, so that is it for our meal plan for the week. I hope that this helped you start off the new year with a couple new meal plan ideas, especially if you have picky eaters or little ones in the house who are just getting used to eating veggies and trying different foods and flavors. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are interested in me showing you exactly how I put together these recipes and how I cook for my family or even meal prep. I would love to do that for you. So click that like and subscribe button down below and also hit that bell for notifications and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.